Good morning everybody, my name is Matthew Brady and welcome to my life today. I'm actually heading to Cameron's place to pick up uh, the Miata. We have to put a couple little finishing touches on it, basically change the oil uh, and, and fix the climate control knobs on it, but otherwise it's pretty much ready to come back home. It seems like it's been there forever, but it's the weekend finally, we have some time to, to get this stuff done and I'm gonna get the car back home and yeah, bring you guys with us as we do all of this. So, uh, see you at Cameron's. Cameron's wife has a nice GTI. Okay. I wish I had all these vehicles. So I just had to do a quick run to Advanced Auto Parts actually to get a new battery because the one that's in there right now is, I think it might be fried, I'm really not sure. Um, he had it off of a, uh, of a battery tender, but it, it had a fully charged battery and it still wouldn't start. We don't know, really know why, we had to jump it again. Uh, once it drives for a while, it's got enough charge, but it's happened twice now, so I just said, screw it, we're changing the battery. So let's get that done quick, and then we'll focus on the rest of the stuff. There we go. So with the battery done, now we can actually move on to more important things. So Cameron's recently been to the uh, junkyard. Look at these suckers. He's got two 2.5 liters, one for his blue NC project and one for his white uh, track build in the future. I would be interested in following along with this because, you know, 2.5 liters would be really fun for that car at some point. <laughs> wink, wink. For, for real, look how tiny the headers are. This is like, inch and a half or something. There's just comically small, maybe two inches. I probably know. like an inch and... An inch? Oh, it's probably like an inch and a quarter in her Yeah, it's freaking tiny. I, these, it's gotta be so restrictive. Now that I got the battery done, I'm going to go ahead and install new climate control knobs and an auxiliary cable just into the back of the um, radio so that I can play my tunes from my phone. These old climate control knobs, these two, this one's fine. This one's starting to show a little bit of a gap here, and this one, the gap's really bad. So we ordered a new, well, a new used set. There we go. That was scary. That was honestly really scary, getting these uh, plastic panels off because I, I just feel like they're gonna snap. So there we go, cut all those off. Film getting this bolt out because it was way back in there. I don't even know how to explain where it was at. Can you see that little hole right there? about up there. It was in there and I had to use an extension and a bunch of cussing to get it out. We're gonna get one bolt here, here, and two on this end down here. Thing I think is pretty cool is the NC Miata doesn't actually come with a auxiliary cable um, but I'm yes. shut the fuck up I'm just a little youtuber over here <laughs> anyway 
it didn't come with an auxiliary cable so uh, we got an aftermarket auxiliary cable I'll show you here uh, it comes in in the back inside the, uh, um, the the head unit space and then plugs into the back of the radio so I should be able to play my uh, my Pandora tunes and shit But that's mostly because everything just took a little longer than I thought. Uh, not necessarily the stuff with my car, but um, somebody else showed up, uh, another one of our friends, and Cameron was helping him do a whole bunch of work on his uh, exhaust system for his Mazda RX-8. So that just sort of took up a whole bunch of time, and I kind of pitched in with that too. And before we realized it, it was already almost 9 o'clock at night, uh, and I didn't want to take Cameron you know, take his time driving it all the way back to drop it off at my house again, and then me have to drive him home and all that stuff. So basically what I'm getting at is I'm probably going to just go get the car again tomorrow, and then we'll finally have it back at my house. Um, still, for the most part, a lot of work is going to be getting done at his place because he's just got more tools. Um, he's got a lift and more expertise in general than me. Uh, but there will be some stuff that I start doing soon in my own garage. Mostly smaller stuff, uh, brakes, you know, d different things like that. But um, you'll see it uh, at my place too. And uh, yeah, but for now, didn't end up getting the Miata home like I was hoping to tonight. But uh, that's okay. You know, life goes on. It's already sat in his lift for a week or two now. So what's another day going to hurt? Anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I know it was just a little vlog, but uh, the car's starting to come together a little bit. There's still a lot of stuff left to do, um, but it's going to be a ripper here in probably a month or two, and I can't wait to show you guys. See you.